Where does learning happen? In my head. Where does learning happen? In your head. It happens, for me, late at night, after I've already absor absorbed the information. And I'm playing around writing my own paper, I'm a night owl. That's when it happens. For me, I learn a lot right when I'm waking up. I start thinking about things. Where does learning happen? <laughs> In the brain, I guess. We've talked about social networks, we've talked about cell phones, we've talked about computers, virtual worlds, now we're talking about cyborgs. Do these things help us learn? Are, are we better learners because we're post-human? Online, I can think about that for an hour without having anybody else bring up any new idea and you know research it and ponder it and all that kind of stuff. And uh, here, you're just you're kind of bouncing from one person's idea to another and trying to quickly come up with form of some sort of opinion for that. Well, I think in the classroom you get sort of that human connection, that human connectivity. There's more spontaneity too, I think, in person because you can sit and think about what you're saying for a long time online. Whereas here, like if you say something to me, I have to respond right away. I don't have time to think about it. Carrie was about to say something a second ago, and or she, I could tell that she had an idea that she wanted to say or a reaction. But the thing is that you can't know that online. You can consider learning as in we're learning to use these devices, and that's just before learning. Learning happens in the tangents. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was going to say to add on to that is, um, I think especially in a classroom kind of group, learning happens within. And I think community is formed when you allow 